Hi, Julia. Scott from Hey You Guys. Nice to see you again. Yeah. Four years ago. Well, yeah. Long time ago. Congratulations on this one. It's fantastic. Well oh, done. Um, it's a wonderful love story at the center of this. Uh, tell me about how you went about putting that on screen and putting these two characters together in this in this love story. How did I do that? You mean is it that? challenging to write a love story? Between... Oh, you know what? Yeah. yeah, it is. And I think that's why I did it in the first place, because I acknowledge the fact that it was hard for me to talk about love. I see love as something that uh, that is a constant becoming, that is an absolute, that goes beyond any representation, and that is full acceptance of the human being in front of you, no matter um, their gender and no matter the so so social construct that they represent. So yeah, considering that, I thought like talking about love, would putting words on that, on that feeling, would belittle it a little bit. So from the get-go, I knew that if I had to put this at the center of my film, I would have to use very few words and use just my characters, their body, their presence to each other and all that in order to express that. Yeah. Was, there, was there, I know obviously we spoke many years ago about Raw, about your influences. Was there any specific influences on this one that you took from different places? I think like the main influence would be Vertigo. Uh, and actually really true, I mean I know it can sound cheesy to say that because I believe it's the reference for so many directors. But it's, it is true, I mean in, um, when I created Vincent's story and somehow his um, madness of trying to um, sculpt his fantasy out of her, uh, I very much thought about Vertigo, yeah. He's got amazing dance moves, they both have. That must, must be fun doing. I mean, have you ever thought about doing a musical? Is this kind of your, your no. audition to do a musical one day? No, not at all. I didn't <laughs> think about that at all. But I do think that dance, you know, is a part of life. I mean, you don't have to, um, like, um, to direct it as, as an, a musical, as something from, you know, uh, very, um, with codes, with very specific codes, in order to put it in a film. I think it's, for me, it's perfectly natural that my characters tend to dance at one point, and that's actually how they communicate, especially because they can't talk to each other, they can't use words, so. Yeah. And I, uh, I believe, forgive me if this is wrong, but I think you, in between these two movies, you went and worked with M. Night Shyamalan a little bit. How was it stepping into a kind of, Hollywood-ish production and working with someone like him as opposed to working on your own stuff? Honestly, it was great. What I loved is that I loved being there as a pure, te pure technician. Uh, obviously, um, this is not my script. It's a series that existed already for a full season before that. I started a few, the first two episodes of season two. And so I was there really just like to prove myself, to test myself. As a technician, I had fun with a lot of grips, a lot of uh, uh, cameras, a lot of cranes, and things that maybe I could not afford, you know, uh, at the time in France. So I really like, I had a blast there, and it actually made me very much more confident uh, with shooting Titan afterwards, technically speaking. Yeah. And just as a final question, obviously the, the world's been a bit weird in the last year, and obviously cinemas have been shut. How how precious are you about the cinema experience? People going to the cinema to see your films over essential. streaming. It's essential. I don't know how to say that, but it's it's truly essential, and it's also one of the rare moments where we can actually be in communion <laughs> in front of something with strangers. So it's essential, it's vital. Have you got your next project lined up yet or are you taking a bit of a break before I do. then? I mean, it's not finished obviously because I haven't had time like, for the past year <laughs> or two years, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, um, it's happening. Fantastic. <laughs> well, congratulations on this and on the, the Cannes Awards and everything. Thank you so much for your time. Pleasure to see you again. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey!